it is always such a hard experience for people to move long distances looking for jobs, and worse still when they fail to get one, despite the great efforts. UPDF has now taken a move to bridge the unemployment gap among the medical fraternity by considering a screening exercise for those medics who wish to be recruited in the army. The exercise was meant for diploma holders and above. We are more interested nurses who have specialist skills, nurses specialists in critical care, nurses specialists in urology, oncology, intensive care unit skills, dialysis, and you were more interested in doctors who have done specialists in surgery, in a pediatrician. Thursday morning, aspirants throng the Kololo ceremonial grounds to try their luck. Survival for the fittest was basic as they went through trainings, exercises, and yoga to test their body abilities. Some looked tired and worn out after several hours exercising. Among those recruited are nurses, midwives, surgeons, to mention but a few. It was indeed no pain, no gain, as they sat under the scorching sun with no any other choice left for them if they really badly needed the opportunity. <laughs> Many were left out as they didn't have education documents and credentials, as the rest were not within the eligible age brackets. As Lieutenant Colonel Grace Baguma, the Director of Nursing Services in the UPDF Army asserts. So have you have seen being screened before road running, those who have scars, those who have physical disabilities, those who have previous cesarean sections, if you are a woman, and other men who have different abnormalities are screened out. If you are 30 years and above, we feel you will not be fit for battle fitness exercise. Your age limits you to go through the rigorous training of military training. We don't want to depreciate Ugandans. Baguma also enlightens more about the criteria the candidates should follow. However, warns them on fraudulency, especially with academic documents. Considering education from a diploma, a degree, masters in that specific specialty of your undergraduation, or a diploma with an added advantage of specialty skills. You are aware that we are building a massive hospital at Imbuya and uh, other health facilities. I'm Ivan Juko for UBC News.